I ran a training Q and A the other day, and I had you know quite a bit of dads, quite a bit of, of full time working people that I know, and I asked them, what is ultimately keeping you from getting in shape, or staying in shape, or getting fit, or being healthy? And there are two common answers. There are some outliers here and there, and I want to talk about the second one with you, the most common one. But the first one, people were saying they don't really know what they should be doing in the gym, and that's an easy one because I mean, I'm a trainer. I can always help them out with that kind of stuff. They just kind of have to either reach out to a trainer or search stuff on YouTube, anything like that. So that's an easy one to fix. Let's talk about the second one and the most common problem, especially that dads had with getting fit and being healthy. So the most common problem I'm sure you guys can relate is time. People say they don't have time to exercise. Now here's the thing. I had someone who's working with me as a strength coach um, I'm trying to start my own fitness business and that kind of stuff. And they did something called a time audit with me. Now I think I highly recommend that you guys should try a time audit. And what that means is you break down your day and you find out exactly where these time slots are, where you can maybe comfortably get that workout in. Because there's two things that I want to talk about with the importance of finding that time to work out. Number one, you have to make it convenient. What this means, I'll, I'll tie this into nutrition. If you have something healthy and it's accessible, let's say you have some grapes and they're already picked off the vine and they're in a cup in the fridge. If you get hungry, you probably want to go to those grapes and just grab it and start eating. But if they're all the healthy stuff has to be washed, cut and all of, all of that kind of thing, as sad as it sounds, trust me, I know it sounds so lazy, but a lot of times we get hungry, we just want to grab the first thing that's closest to us. So with accessibility, you need to find a way to make exercise accessible. And now what this means is you might not have to go to the gym. Going to the gym might not be as accessible to you as it is for others. It might be a problem getting to the gym. If that's the case, you should be working out at home. You should find a place at home to exercise. And along with finding a place to exercise, you need to make sure you find a time. I did a little video on which time is better to exercise, whether it's AM or PM, and I can break it down in this video. It's a quick little short, you guys can check it out. But ultimately, if you have the ability to exercise in the morning, get after it. If you can only do it at nighttime, then do it at nighttime. But the bottom line is, is make sure you get it in. Now by getting it in, it doesn't mean you have to go to the gym for an hour. I would say, and for six days a week, I say get a full body workout three days a week and then do the other three days of some kind of movement like cardio and then some stretching as well and then have one day of complete rest and recovery is super important but we'll talk about recovery on a different video. So with your making your exercise nice and accessible and you focus on your time, you need to make sure that you make it a priority. Now back to the time audit, break down your day. Here's an example of my day. Monday through Friday, and I have other days where I work often during the weekend as well. But Monday through Friday, wake up in the morning, I do my morning routine, 10 to 15 minute morning routine. With uh, I get myself ready for work, I help with the kids, and then I go to work. There's not much time there unless I woke up half hour to an hour earlier. At work, I'm working hard, I'm focused on my job, and then a lot of times during lunchtime, that's when I get my workout in. Whether it is eating my lunch while I'm exercising or have my lunch on a quick little break before I ultimately exercise or right afterwards. But normally on my lunch break is where I work out. If I have the ability to, I work out when my kids go to bed at nighttime. After work, I leave, do the family thing, dinner time, read with the kids, play with the kids because family is number one. I'm, I love exercise, I love fitness. God and family, number one, okay? Get your priorities in there and then get your fitness right after that. So make sure that you recognize, you spend time with your family. Once you have that downtime, you get your kids to bed, they're doing your, their homework or something. Then if I didn't work out at lunchtime, I got my workout in either when they went to bed or if they were doing their homework or something like that. And accessibility comes in a huge at that point as well because you don't wanna get out and go to the gym and ultimately maybe lose 15 minutes on the drive, whereas you can just go in your backyard, get a nice 20 minute pump and be done. Moral of the story is you guys, when I did my time audit, I was able to see that I can potentially squeeze in 15 minutes here, 15 minutes there. 
if you can only throw in a five minute blocks of exercise at a time, do micro workouts for now, for now, but do something. Don't just sit back and say like, I'd have no time to do it. Do micro workouts, which are small bursts of workouts. Drop down and do push-ups for two minutes or something like that. Do some air squats, do something to keep yourself active and healthy. Run your own time on it and let me know. Honestly, let me know if you have questions, what you can do within these time parameters to get you healthy and fit. Write me, hit me up. I'd love to help you out. Rock it out, you guys.